Hello, children. My name is Benigni, and I am king of the web. I'm also a lion, so that's going on. Now, if you were unaware, I often make confession videos on the interwebs, where I basically just read confessions that people send to me in their emails. Now, don't get confused. This is not one of those videos. But I wanted to make a video where I kind of talked about why I do confessions and how they started and things of that sort. So, a couple years ago, Lacey Green, this awesome YouTube girl who's really cute, used to do these live blog TV shows all the time. A couple times a week, and I'd be there very often. And as a way to pass the time on her blog TV shows, she would have people send confessions to her email. And then she'd read them live. And I thought it was kind of an interesting idea, and so I adapted the concept in my blog TV shows. And people always seemed to enjoy them. And then one day I was browsing through some really old videos on YouTube. I was trying to see where all the big YouTubers got their start, and how their first videos worked. Word of advice, I'd recommend not going back and doing that for me. My first videos were not great. Rawr. And I believe it was the user Neramon, otherwise known as Alex Day, whose first couple videos were apparently confession videos. At least the first public ones at the time were. And I thought that was kind of a clever idea. Although the way he went about it wasn't exactly what I decided I wanted to do. His two confession videos were very, very objective. And in a lot of ways, he kind of made fun of the user's confessions. And of course, don't get me wrong, these videos were very entertaining. But I decided that if I were to do some confession videos like him, I would want to be a lot more sympathetic to my viewer and say the confessions as if you guys were saying them. So at the time, I was doing two videos a week, and I was always looking for new vlog ideas. And so I decided to do one. It had been like two years since Alex Tay had done his and Lacey really wasn't doing hers on blog TV anymore, so I felt like it was probably an okay thing. And as soon as I uploaded it, I got tons of comments from you guys telling me you loved it and that you wanted to see another one. When I made my first confession video, I had absolutely no intention of making a second one. But after getting all the positive feedback, I decided it was kind of essential. And so I made Confessions Part 2 and 3. And if you've been following along in my life, I just made Confessions Part 10. That's 10 confession videos, each one containing between 70 and 100 confessions. That is a lot of confessions. It was amazing to me though, because people started finding meaning in my confession videos. And I feel like the people who watched me really thought they were more than entertainment, which kept me driven to keep making them, even though it's not the easiest thing to do. Every time I make a confession video, I read through about 150 mostly negative confessions. It's really emotionally draining, as you can imagine. But every time I uploaded them, I read the comments, and every single time, I got the same feedback. People thanking me for giving them a medium through which they could express something they've kept hidden, or people thanking me because they feel less alone with their issue. You know, and I think that's really, really cool. I love YouTube to death, and I feel like most people who watch me love YouTube. But when it comes right down to it, not a lot of the videos on here mean much. People making jokes, stupid videos of dogs riding skateboards, even videos about the specifics of people's lives. I mean, while they can be entertaining, they don't really have a lot of meaning to them. But it's kind of amazing to feel like I have a set of videos that really do have a meaning. They go a lot deeper than the service level entertainment value. Do you know what I mean? I worry a lot that the more that I upload them, the less people will care. You know, ideas grow old. But so far with every single one I've made, you guys seem to be really, really positive. And I really appreciate that. I don't know. I'm a lion. Rawr. Anyways, I wanted to say thanks for everybody who's sending confessions and everybody who's watched my videos. Yeah. If you have confessions that you want to send, there's always a link below to my email where you can send them to bananielgmail.com. And I'll save them for my next video I do. I hope you guys enjoyed this more serious-ish video. If you want to let me know what you think about my confession videos in the comments below, I would really appreciate it. And I've also been thinking that I want to start responding to a lot more comments. And so I thought I might bring back something that I used to do a long time ago, which is if you guys decide that you really like this video and you want to favorite or like it, don't feel obligated, you can let me know and I'll say thanks. Nothing helps my videos more than likes and favorites. But like I said, don't favorite or like unless you genuinely want to. Is that the right word for that? Genuinely? Yeah. Okay. Roar, I'm a lion and I'm gonna go now. Uh, do let me know what you thought of this video and stuff. Last thing before I go, I'm gonna do a love story video on Friday. It might end up being Saturday. And I already have a bunch of love stories saved up in my email, but if you guys want to send me one, maybe I'll read it. Roar. You guys have a lovely afternoon. Roar. Hello, so my name is Vanilla, and I am a lion. And sometimes on the interwebs, people send me confessions and emails, and then I read them in video. And today is one of those days. I'm afraid of my mother's disappointment. I actually like chicken nuggets. It was kind of a fail. 